Good morning, YouTube. Good morning. I'm here with ZZ Mark hey, and buddy. the Eddie Horvath. And it is the 4th of April. And it's a little raw out here. It's in the 30s. Um, I think we're going up to 40, 48 today or something like that. It's not very high. <coughs> and time. It's just, uh, well, next week we're going to hit back in the 70s again. So it's spring is springing. All right, we got a lot of stuff to go through here. And super thanks is McKinley Getz. Thank you so Thank much, you, McKinley. McKinley. Uh, Stefan Lawyer, thank you so much. McCarlson28, thank you. Thank you. And R. Becker44. And uh, yeah, this is all I get far as the names on their site. So, uh, you know, if you, if you wanted to put your real name in there, uh, feel free to do that. Okay, we got some birthday shout outs. Deborah Woods, 70th birthday, and that's Happy March 29th. Happy birthday, Happy birthday Debbie. Debbie. And we got James, 60th birthday, March 28th. Youngster. James. Yeah. Fred Hengist, Sr., 102, April 8th. 102. That's like a Smuckers. That's like, uh, remember? They used yeah, to do the Smuckers. Smuckers yes. And uh, that is... Um, awesome. He watches us religiously. He was a Sawyer back in the day, and he really enjoys. He said he'd actually used me as a backup Sawyer at that mill back wow. no 40 years ago. Thank you. That's an honor. That is. And uh, yes, we got John Collins, April 5th. John, happy birthday. Hey, John. And didn't say how old. Thomas Cap, 71 on the 11th. And Dale and Kathy Huff. 43rd wedding anniversary, April 11th. Well, congratulations. Congratulations on that. And uh, that's all I got for the birthday shout So Seems like somebody has a birthday every day. Yeah. Isn't that strange? Yeah. <laughs> we got 81,500 subscribers as oh. of this morning, so that's a lot of birthdays. So. That's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, we got a couple things here. Lou Myers, he made us some pens. I'll take us up to the camera here and show you this. And this is beautiful. He did. I'll roll that around. He made some right-handed and some left-handed. So Eddie can you can use both. Yeah, two at one time. Yeah, you could write Amber in each hand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that means that means you could vote both ways. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not good there. And hey, uh, Joseph Unger sent us a book that he thought we would really be able to use. It is a yeah, showed it GM out. diesel engine maintenance manual. This is for the bus motor. This is uh, just a general maintenance manual. Obviously, it's been used a little bit, but uh, we appreciate it. That'll go into our library here. Yeah, that's going to go in a safe place because uh, I hope the day never comes we need that. No. But it, it will. Okay, what do you got there, Eddie? This, this, uh, he sent this out. It's uh, R.L. Hawk. He sent us a... Uh, Oh. From Texas, pecan coffee. You know Eddie loves coffee. Eddie does love his coffee. I won't share that. You guys yeah, get it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but he did send this, and this is really nice. It's about Pennsylvania trees. It's from the 1950s. I didn't get a chance to really read it yet, but we'll share that. Hey, we appreciate it. Yeah, Absolutely. That, is, yeah. that is beautiful. We thank you. All right. Well, and, uh, well, that was long-winded enough here. What do we got going for today? We're going to cut us a monster red oak. It's a native red oak. Okay. Uh, I believe she'll she'll pull every bit of 32 inches on the small end. Wow. It's going to, if you like that uh, maple might, video, you're going to yeah, you're gonna like this. Cause we might make a stop sign today. We, How about that? We probably We will. got little Donnie for assistance, right? Yes, we brought little Donnie. We got big Donnie, too. So. Yeah. Let's see if we can't get her done. All right, let's get moving. All right, let's get rolling here. And we got a big old, we figured out it's black oak, but a lot of times they'll sell black oak as red oak, depending on how it turns out. Sometimes it'll be real pretty. And sometimes it'll just be as ugly. Let's wake the dogs up. And Eddie's getting the blade going. Let's get the carriage back. It's a decent sized log. So, let's see what we can do with it. 
way she's in the cradles let's open the knees up just a lot more that'll work got one shot to really get this on this these eight foot logs I can't stress enough how difficult they are to get loaded without messing up my yawn or pedals. And what I'm looking for is an opportunity to break through with the saw. Because we're going to have to make a stop sign at some point here. Oh, let's... Yeah, bigger is not better. about the opportunity I'm looking for. If you look at the laser, it sort of tells you what you got to do. So let's uh, just put the doggies up, doggies up, doggies down, get a good bite on it. And then let's hit the master dog down. Nope, don't got a hold of it. So let's back the knees up just a little bit more. Let's re-dog it. I'm going to bring it forward just a bit. You don't want to mess up on the opening cut. That's better. That log is now semi-happy. Let's bump it forward. It's not rolling. Let's start there. Sometimes it takes a minute. I could have thrown some taper out. Okay, now we're going to do, we're going to roll it back just a little bit. Repeat that process a couple more times. Doggies up, doggies out, and doggies down. Get a good bite. Start there. And we'll be able to edge stuff out of this, so it's not it's not that big of a waste. A lot of people they complain about it, but that's all we can do. We don't want a bigger saw blade. Bigger saw blade just equals, equals bigger problems. There we go. And we're making really good progress on this big, big ugly pig cow. Down to 
a magic number before you know it now. So this board that's coming up right now will be edged out, so it's not a waste. For a black oak, this isn't really looking too bad. I'm going to try to steal one more board off of here. Eddie, shut the, shut the saw down, Eddie. We got the little piece in there. It actually didn't get warm, which is hard to believe. All right, let's get back to work here. Now you want to get past the saw. You can clean that up a little bit. And I think we're going to put that down on the head blocks and we're going to start making some progress here. Waiting for the sawdust buyer to call up. We probably got a 20 yard box. stick right here. I'm going to pull up about rag there. Don't need the master dog no more. I'll put the dogs in just to get them out of the way and we're going to roll this all the way around. Yeah, no boom, but in fact, I'm going to bring it let's see here. know what face I want. I guess that was good face. Let's bring it back a little bit more. All right, I'm going to bump that taper out. Start there. Put her nice and tight. take too much off. Alright, doggies out, doggies down. We got a good hold of it. Let's start there. pretty far here. I can sneak one more board out of there. 
might be a mistake. That'll get us closer to our magic number. What are you thinking of that bus motor, Louie? She's a liking it. Okay, let's bring that around. All right, what do we got to remember, Bill Ellis? Get that taper away. That's what's bad. You start carrying on a conversation, and then pretty soon you you forgot. But um, a lot of people says you need to put a micro switch on it. And boom. I knew we'd get a boom for Mark Bell. All right, dog is out, dog is down. And there's Mr. Laser. Let's start there. Yep. That's better. Big log is becoming smaller. It's actually pretty for black oak, but sometimes it'll be as pink as red oak. nicer than I thought it would. That should be the last board that we need edged off of here. Take us down to one by twelves after this. There we go. Lots of knots coming up there. All right, let's pull up just a little bit here. 
back up. There we go. I've got another boom. to about six inches. So I think most of this is going to go into horse stalls. We have a customer that always buys our stall boards, so... Let him get caught up there. For the videos, I mean, I'm, I'm sawing, I'm sawing really slow to explain stuff. If you really wanted to produce lumber with this mill, it'll put it out. But there's no sense of that. All right, we're gonna be somewhere around. Let's see, yeah. For just ah, oh, there it is. Too much. Let's see where we're at. Just about perfect. All right. Let's peel these off. Ugliness. A lot of stuff to edge here at the end. Alright, let's roll that back out. Take it down to four. becomes a firewood cover. And I think I'm just going to split this in half. Let me see where we're at. 
I think we're three and a, or six and a quarter. Let me just see. I'll just get some three by fours. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We'll split this in half. We're getting some three by fours. All done. Nice. Just like stopping on the gas pump until the nearest dollar. Alrighty, we'll see you here at the end. Well, it's time to get rid of some. So Eddie's getting a bucket on. Yeah, it's about as full as you can get with the sawdust. So um, yeah, he'll 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 fit most of this on his load. Uh, I think he brought the 15 yard box. So we might not get it all out of here. So. Yeah, this is Eddie's first time using a bucket to load sawdust. And you can see everything we saw here, you go all the way down through the veins. This looks like uh, digging down through the earth and it's pretty neat. Some stuff turns different colors. Is it, you can smell that elm has a real medicine, real medicine-y smell to it. Uh, but yeah, we absolutely do not put no walnut in here. And when we do saw walnut, either the bin is completely empty or we take the pipe off and we just blow it right off to the side there and then pick it up. Like get that walnut log we did the other day was not put in a bin. So let's go over to the dumpster box here. And nothing goes to waste. Absolutely. It's a, it's a win-win situation. Like the band mills, you really got no market for your sawdust. So let's go over to the dumpster here. There you go. Let's see how many scoops it's going to take to get this full. She's getting down there now.
can actually feel the heat coming off of this. Got that real, real crazy smell, doesn't it, Z? It does. It does. Quite the aroma. <laughs> yeah, that box we got to resecure that one day too. This is this is where the sawdust ends up at. It hits that little chute and bounces off this box, and all the air goes out of it. Then it drops straight down. Otherwise, you'd be blowing sawdust. Oh, probably 20 feet outside this bin. But all right, that's a good thing. We're getting rid of it, and. Uh, at least you got to see where it goes. Well, there it's going. And if you're if you're in the Moon Township area or Imperial area and you need a roll-off container, get a hold of Craig. He said that box right there is about $425 to rent. And you can put two ton on it without an extra charge. So that's 15 yards of sawdust out of here. All right. But in our sawmill, nothing goes to waste. And uh, it's just a good good situation. Yeah. You know, we're, we're definitely a green sawmill. And, it's got uh, some nice dry dust too. Yeah, some nice, nice, nice dry dust. And uh, that load right there uh, will make some horses happy. It's all bedding. Oh yeah. It's all he's going to use it for. And uh, here, we'll show you what we, what we sawed up here. There it is. You have the snack video on the bottom, and then you have what we just sawed. These still need edged out. We were going to edge them today, but uh, we got sidetracked with loading sawdust, and we're going to we're just going to go ahead and do that at a different time. So we're you know, tired. We're hungry. We're tired. Yeah. So it's time to go home. And again, thanks a lot for for supporting us. Uh, the, the super thanks has really helped the channel out. It helps us buy camera equipment. It helps us buy fuel. It helps us. It just helps us out. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it, it's just a good thing. And other than that, what what anything else going on? Just, what's what's your channel again? Time yeah, time with. The, the Eddie Horvath. You get to see me and ZZ down on this end of the meal. Go over little... and check out Eddie's channel. And Good stuff. you get a word of the day. Yeah. And be careful to the eclipses today. <laughs> this is true. Yeah. <laughs> don't this, look directly at the yeah, sun. Yeah, don't look at the sun. Yeah. So, all right, everybody. Enough kidding around here. We'll catch you on the next one. And thanks for coming along. And thank you. Bye-bye.